Hey, it's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to add a simple plugin that will allow you to make your Contact Form 7 email creation a lot easier. Now the email creation is when you create a form, you also have to complete the equivalent email that sends you the data from the form. And that can be kind of a pain, especially if you have big forms. I'm gonna show you a really simple trick to make that really, really easy. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to plugins and add a new plugin. The plugin is called Contact Form 7 Modules. And this is it right here. We're gonna click on Install. Then we're gonna click on Activate. Then it takes us back to our list of plugins. And this plugin actually comes in two parts. The first part is Contact Form 7 Modules Hidden Fields, which we're not gonna use in this tutorial. I have another one for that. But what we're gonna use, or what we have to activate, is Contact Form 7 Modules Send All Fields. So if we activate that, that now adds that capability to our Contact Form 7 forms. And if we read the short description here, it says that we simply have to put this tag into the email field, or sorry, into the email editor to add all the fields. So if we go to our Contact Forms, I just have a really basic one in there. And if we open that up in the editor, we see that we have a bunch of fields. I actually have hidden fields in there as well. And if I go to the mail section, or the mail tab, I have all those fields in here, and that's great. But what I can do is just add all fields like this and click on save. And then if I go over here, refresh this page, I'm just gonna fill this out so you can see what this looks like in our email account. We see that this is the content from the form. It's not beautiful, but it has it all there. And if we go back and we, we do something crazy, like we add a bunch more fields. For example, at the end, I'm just gonna add a text field. I'm gonna call it the favorite color text field. And I'm gonna say, what is your favorite color? The, uh, the spacing doesn't need to be how it's shown here. Like we don't need to have these spaces at the beginning, I just put them there to, to look right. And the back ends are missing the label tags, that was okay. Click on save. And then if I go and refresh this. Now as you recall, we didn't actually, we added this field to the form, but we didn't add this field in the mail tag, or in the mail tab, I mean. So if, if we fill out this form again, test, test, and blue for favorite color, then click on send and go to our email account. We just received the email and we now have that extra field in there. So we have the fave color being blue right there and we didn't actually add that to the mail tab, it was added automatically with the all fields short code. So that's how we can easily create the emails for Contact Form 7 if you don't mind them looking like this. They're not the most beautiful emails, but if that's good enough for you, then this is a really quick way to make your life a lot easier with Contact Form 7. I hope this video helps you. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. Please make sure you like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, check out our social media, and go to wplearninglab.com where we publish more tech tutorials like this every single day. Talk to you soon.